help for questions three through six, three-dimensional objects. All right, let's start with a cylinder, okay? If you have a horizontal cross-section, which they're showing you on the left, you will get a circle. Notice it's the same shape as the base. A vertical cross-section is more difficult. You really have to look at it from the side and see what's going on. Notice when we cross-section vertically, we get a rectangle. Can you see the rectangle? I hope. Okay, let's look at a prison. This is a rectangular prison. Again, a horizontal cross-section gives you the base, and again, we have a rectangle. A vertical cross-section also gives you a rectangle. This one is pretty easy. Let's talk about the pyramid. Okay, if you do a horizontal cross-section, folks, you're going to get the base, and in this case, the base is a rectangle. Now, a vertical. This is more difficult. Do you see the triangle? When you cut a pyramid vertically, you get a triangle. All right, let's do the cone. What's the base of a cone? A circle. And you can see that in the drawing. But what happens when you do a vertical? When you do a vertical, you're going to get a triangle. Okay? All right, why are we studying this stuff? Well, part of the reason is that we want you to visualize, all right? This is all about visualization, okay? Remember when you do a horizontal cross section, you'll get the base, okay? Just think about what the base is and, and you should have it. Vertical is much more difficult. You need to look at it from the side. You need to think about the three-dimensional shape as two-dimensional and visualize it that way. That should help you, okay? Remember guys, study hard, do good, and the good life will follow.